Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long. And I have an activity that I want to do for my students and I need them to get into groups and I want the groups to be quite random. Have you had this scenario? Well, if you struggle to divide them into groups and you want to make it a little bit easier, I'm going to show you a little tip that I use. So if you want it to be completely random, I've got a list of names of students in a class and I want to create random groups for them. I don't want them to be grouped according to their surnames. I want to be grouped randomly. So how can I do this? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my names in Excel. If you've got them in Excel, that's great. Um, if you don't, then you can just copy and paste them from a Word document into Excel so that you've got all the names there. And this is a very easy little formula that you can use. It's not that difficult. I'm just going to next to the, the names over here in the block next to it over here. I'm going to write a formula and you just have to copy it as it is. Equals rand open bracket close bracket. That is it equals rand open bracket close bracket and that will generate a random number now it looks a very weird decimal number but that's fine and then i'm just going to drag this down all the way down to the bottom now, just so you know when you move your mouse over the bottom right hand corner when the white cross becomes a black cross then you can drag that over all of the cells now you'll notice every time i do something i can type something those random numbers change all the time but because these are random now i'm going to sort this on the random number so i'm going to select all of this over here boom, 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 all the way including the random number and i'm going to come here to the sort option and i'm going to do a custom sort and i'm going to say hey i don't want to sort by names anymore i want to sort by column b because our column b doesn't actually have a, a value there I want column B. If you don't see the words column B or, or column A, it might be because your data has headings hasn't been clicked. If you selected your your headings when you selected all the data, make sure that my data has headings is also selected. So I want to sort by column B. And when I click OK, it's going to randomize. There we go. So they're all jumbled up now based on random numbers. Now I don't actually need these numbers. I can actually delete them or I can just right click over here and hide them if I want to. But now I've got my lovely little random groups and let's say i need groups of three then you can say okay well this is a group of three so i can do things like i can highlight it like that or you can just type in like a one 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 that's group one and then a two 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 and so on you can just do things like this three three four 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 and so this way you can create your groups and the last group only has two people so there we go so you can do things like this Maybe you've got a long list like this and you want to put it up on a board so the kids know what group they are in. Well, in this case, I've given them their random groupings. That's great. But they, it's easier for them to find their names if it's alphabetical. Then I'm going to just do the sort again, but this time on the actual names. And I want to include their group. So I'm going to actually put a label here. Their group number. Boom. So there we go. Nice little group number. Make it look a bit pretty. So it's like all the other stuff there. I'm actually going to do that. Boom. So it looks the same. Okay. There. Boom. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to select all of this data. Boom. And go sort. Custom sort. And now I want to sort not by column B, but by names. And so now when it's gone back to the names, I can see, hey, you are in group six. You are in group three. It moved the groups to wherever the name moved to. So that way they can look at their name. Ah, oh, I'm in group I'm in group one and I'm in group three. And so you can paste this up on a board or give this to them digitally and so on. So that's how I create random groups. Click on that subscribe button. Please tell other teachers about our channel. We'd love to hear your comments and your views and any things that you are struggling with so that we can create teacher tips that can help you in the classroom.